So we, we've created a system where basically the best way I can describe this, we, we try to, we, we look at the, the, the purchasing process that, that everyone goes through. And this is regardless whether or not you're buying a pair of shoes or a car or a, or a house. Uh, we all go sort of through the same things. There's something in your life that triggers you to think, actually, I want to make a change, whether or not I need some new shoes or a car or a house. Um, and the next thing you want to do is you want to do a little bit of research, you want to go and see what are my options. For most people, that's trade me, for example. So uh, people go to trade me property, have a look there because that they obviously have the, the, the largest sort of variety. Um, and people don't really care about real estate agents. Uh, you know, they have, have preference for, for Bailey's Harcourts or K Real Estate or whoever it is. They just want to see what are my selection, you know, what are my options. Um, and we knew this, uh, but what is really frustrating as a real estate agent is that you can have you know thousands upon thousands of views on trade me but you might only get one or two emails mm -hmm. and so so there was this real disconnect in in the, the the traffic you're generating to a property and the information you could relay back to your vendor to say hey well, listen these are the people that are interested or not interested and so people have this tendency to get hooked on this watchers thing that they have on trade me mm -hmm. which means if all so, so what basically what we wanted to do again, we were sort of looking at well, you know, what the process that we have in traditional real estate, which is put an ad out there, withhold all the information so people have to contact you, and that's how you get their contact details. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work. So, we just went, well, we still want people to we be, want to be able to somehow measure or get more people to transfer away from from trade me in particular, so we can actually uh, get some metrics on them and figure out how many people are actually showing interest in this property. Mm. We want to have some strategic hurdles where they basically through their actions show us where what where they are in the purchasing process. Mm. Uh, so, so we created basically what we call the, the path of least resistance. Yeah. So rather than people having to contact us, uh, we, we kind of know that most people don't want to talk to a real estate agent until they're ready. Mm -hmm. uh, so we just said, well, don't talk to us. But if you want all the information, if you want to know what the rates are, if you want to see the floor plan, if you want to uh, download the property information booklet, whatever it is that you're after, just simply go to our website, all the information is ready for you to download instantly. We do choose to have a gate there, but it's what I call a strategic hurdle. I could just a click of a button on the back end of our website and I could remove that hurdle. But yeah. the fact that people land on our website, as you well will know, is, is enough for us to be able to track uh, yeah. where they're at and they now become part of, a, for example, a, a, an audience on, on Facebook, which means that, hey, listen, they, they went and looked at a, at a townhouse in Mochoeca, it obviously wasn't quite right for them because they chose not to download a document. However, they had some measure of interest in it because they chose to go to our website, uh, which means the next time we have a townhouse in Mochoeca, suddenly, for some reason, unknown to them, they get an ad for a townhouse in Mochoeca. <laughs> <laughs> the secret sauce. I love, I love me some retargeting. Um, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it's, a good, it's, a good, it's a good thing. So that that's kind of you know that that's that's the small part. But up until then, you know, like we haven't we don't do anything. Like it's just it's just set up. It's automated. It, it's super non-invasive for the purchaser because they don't want to talk to a real estate agent at that stage. Mm -hmm. If they choose to download, we do ask for their contact details, and we have a very gentle follow-up sequence. Yeah. Again, it's automated. How, however, it does look like it comes from an actual person, mm -hmm. uh, and the feedback we get from it is really really good. Mm -hmm. uh, that may or may not convert you into a, a viewing if you are the right person for that. But it basically means that for our salespeople, so we've got a reasonably small team, but hyper, hyper active, mm -hmm. super um, dedicated, and in, 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 in the, the, the results they're generating are insane compared yeah. to any real estate company because they only have to go to work when we, they've got a super qualified uh, lead who's actually done heaps of research. Sometimes people turn up and they know more about the property than we do. Totally.